Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, it's definitely been a few years since I've done this, so a little um, rusty. But I am in a different part of my life now since I last made a YouTube video, so I thought it would be fun for my first one back to show what a normal Saturday for a 25 year old would be. So woke up already, got some breakfast, working on my coffee. Um, so today is really more of like an errandy day, gonna do some laundry and whatnot. So if you hear anything, that is currently my washing machine and dryer, um, getting that started. But it is already in the afternoon, it's around 12, 1245. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and get this rolling. I also have a few things from Amazon showing up today. So I'll also do a little bit of a mini haul as well. Um, but yeah, very excited to get started. So let's go on, yay. finished up um, the bottom part and um, I think it really kind of cleaned up everything um, so very excited about that so now I'm gonna move on up to the drawers I don't think these have as many things as I need to throw away but it's always good to just triple check because if you're gonna spend time doing this you might as well do it right a lot quicker than I thought it was gonna be um, at some point not today I will be cleaning my brushes um, but I've already taken care of the top portion of my sink I wiped everything down I've started to load a laundry with um, some of these towels um, but yeah so the bathroom is done Oop, one more thing no this will stay here for now um, but yeah so I'm finally done with the bathroom able to fill this thing up which is very nice um I have this extra hair dryer right there I don't need it I have another one that is so much better so I might just keep that at my parents house so I'm actually headed there this afternoon to drop off some of my Christmas boxes so I'll probably leave that there as well um but so the next thing is going to be selling some clothes so what I typically like to do is um, go to Ragarama, which is a, um, it's kind of like a thrift store, but a little bit more hipstery, a little bit more young than your average thrift store. And I like to sell my clothes there. And then anything that they don't take, I go ahead and donate. Um, and I like to go through a lot of this because it's really great to just refresh your wardrobe. Um, so I have made some piles. And then I also, so like some of my nicer things, I will go ahead, I make a pile 
right here of some things that I like to sell on Poshmark. So if you are on Poshmark, go ahead, check out my link down below um, to check out my closet, see if there's anything in there that you like. Um, but yeah, so I constantly update it because I like to constantly update my wardrobe. So very fun things to come. I love days like this because you just feel so much more refreshed at the end of it. Just it's so great to just filter through things, especially at the beginning of a month or especially at the beginning of the year because new things are very exciting. You feel like you've filtered through some of the things that you haven't been touching for a while, things of that nature. So up next, I am actually headed to Kale Me Crazy here in Atlanta, um, pick up a juice cleanse. So that'll be the next stop and then I will be back here. So see you guys when I get there. Hey fam, so just got back from running errands. It is a little bit later now. It's about um, 5.11, so it has definitely been a few hours, but I have been running a lot of errands. Um, but definitely wanted to show you guys what I picked up. So like I said in the earlier clip, I did order a juice cleanse with Kale Me Crazy, which is a like a juice and like smoothie place they also have some food not quite sure how other way to describe it would be um here in atlanta there are several locations and i think some outside of georgia as well but anyway so they do have this three-day cleanse and what i typically do that i did last year that i really enjoyed was so i got the three-day cleanse and then for dinner i just have one piece of salmon to make sure that I get protein in the day since I do try to work out every single day. Um, but did want to go ahead and show you my fridge. So I just flipped this over so, you back, so that you guys can see this. Uh, but so I do have um, day one, two, and three, and then you wake up and then you take the um, ginger shot too to kind of wake up and everything. So very excited, so I do start that tomorrow um which will be exciting very fun to kind of kick me into gear for the 2019 year um i have been trying to figure out what my resolutions are going to be for this year started you know writing them out but again it's good to be as detailed as possible so that they're actually attainable throughout the year and it's not just these big lofty goals i like to have you know something a little bit more specific or some things in between to kind of keep me on track so yeah, definitely wanted to give you guys an update on that. Um, I am just going to keep doing some laundry since I left earlier in the afternoon and still haven't finished that. So I will see you guys when I see you. Hey guys, so going to do a little bit of unboxing now. So very exciting stuff. Everybody always loves to get some packages. Um, a lot of this is actually from Amazon. Um, it's only three things. So um, let me grab some scissors and open up the first one. So I do know what all of these things are. Um, I freaking love Amazon. Things come just so fast and you don't even have to get in your car. So the first thing I actually got is the Ori Thick Dry Finishing Spray. I actually saw this being used on Instagram by a hairstylist. Her Instagram is Hair by Chrissy, um, and I've always really struggled with finding the, you know, the best um, hairspray for my hair. So um, very excited to try this out. So I'll let you guys know what I think. So there's that. Uh -huh. The next thing is. Not that exciting, but it is a little bit of a hack, I would say. So now with like today's fashion, I feel like bras just don't make sense anymore for like 90% of the things that we wear. So I actually buy nipple covers from um, Amazon. They're so much cheaper than going to Target and spending like $20 on four pairs. Um, these are actually... 12 so 12 pairs of um, nipple covers for I think only nine dollars so I'll link those down below as well I'll link all of this stuff because it is a little bit random but definitely some things that I think you guys would really enjoy as well so I got these and then the most exciting thing I actually decided to order a new mattress pad so you know adulting and, and things you know get very excited for the 
the most exciting things, but oh wow, this is smart, Amazon. There's literally a box. Oh my God. There's a box inside of a box. So we can, um, you know, watch the straws that we use, but we can't consolidate boxes. This makes no sense. So I decided to order this mattress pad. I really didn't do a whole lot of research, like to be very honest. I just knew I didn't want to spend a ton. Um, so this one actually had like 1500 reviews for like four and a half stars. And I was like, oh, that's good enough. So I'm one of those people like, honestly, when it comes to like bedding and stuff, I don't want to spend a lot just because you want to refresh it because it kind of gets gross if you think about it. Like why invest hundreds of thousands of dollars on like a mattress pad or sheets or something like that? Cause you're going to want to get new ones for sanitary reasons. So let me get this out. Oh, oh, jeez. So this is what it looks like. Very boring looking, to be very honest. So I'm gonna put this on my bed and see what thinks. What I think. So we'll see how good it is. I'll let you guys know if it's. Um, good or not. The one that I had on before actually started to fall apart. Um, it was probably just one that I got from Target that was like 20 bucks. Like I said, I really don't like to spend a lot of money on those kinds of things because I want to get new ones. Um, and definitely ignore my nails. They're really gross. I usually always have my nails painted. Um, and uh, I don't right now. So kind of gross. And just like a quick outfit of the day. Um, this shirt, it's from Pretty Little Thing. It's actually a full length shirt, but I just went ahead and cut it. Um, and then I have on these leather looking leggings. They're actually by a brand called Commando. So I'll also link those down below. I think they are so much better than the Spanx ones. Um, just from like a leather look, the Spanx definitely hold you in a lot more. They're a lot more thicker, but I find that these actually look like leather leggings versus the other ones kind of just look like leggings with the shine on them. So. This is just the fit. I don't have hardly any makeup on. I just have on my brows and um, a little bit of mascara. So that's it. But um, I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap up the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm very excited to continue this journey and see what happens. But I will see you guys next time. Bye.